what is going on guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i want to just sit down and talk about a topic that i have been thinking about um, this whole day practically i've just i've just been thinking about this and i want to get some things out of my chest and maybe if it brings value maybe to anyone i'll be happy just one person and this video would be worth uh, making but today's topic is going to be trading psychology and emotions whenever uh, 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 I see people trading in this crypto market. And yeah, this is going to be um, uh, more focused on like crypto. And, but but I think it's going to it's it's applied everywhere, uh, to be frank. Uh, emotions are mostly the same and trading, whether it be crypto or stocks or any other commodity. So this is what I want to do. But before we begin, guys, if you like this type of contest, if you want me to just sit down and if you want me to bring a guest, maybe as a podcast, press that subscribe button and let me know in the comments uh, who you want me to bring. And I'll try to bring that person into uh, uh, into uh, this channel and as a guest and maybe we can have a good discussion through a podcast about DeFi, crypto and everything crypto. Honestly, I am pumped for that and press the like button for the youtube algorithm so people can see these type of videos out there as you know that youtube may get keep some crypto content so i would be very very grateful if you guys did that for me but without further ado guys let's get into the video all right and so today's video topic is trading psychology before we begin I want to just clarify some things. I mean, this is this is obvious, but I have to clarify this, right? Number one, I'm not an active day trader, right? Number two, I'm not a psychologist. Number three, I'm not a financial advisor. And number four, I'm not a trading expert. I'm none of these, okay? The reason why I talk about trading psychology now is just to have a subject to talk about. And because I'm really, really into this uh, to this whole aspect of crypto or trading in general, all right? This is a conversation. My words are in fact... So uh, don't take don't 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 do anything that I say here. Don't take it as facts. So don't take it too hard. All right. I just want to talk. All right. With that out of the way, <laughs> uh, with that out of the way, we can start the video. So, all right. So with with a trade, I've been thinking about this. Right. With a trade, it can actually be only four different outcomes. Right. If you think about that, if you if you, if you actually think about it re real hard, it can only be four different outcomes. Right. Number one is a big win. You know, big win. Everyone likes a big win. You gain, you earn money. You're euphoric. Big win, right? That's good. Number two is a uh, small win. A small win. All right, it's pretty good too. It's a win, a W. I'll take it, right? Number three is a small loss. A small loss. All right, I'll live with it. It's not earning money, but I'll live with it, right? And number four is a big loss. Now this one, the big loss. Now this one, this one can ruin some people. This one I've seen people get absolutely wrecked on. So a big loss could be, you know, uh, everything from uh, a rug pull to uh, to people just selling off because of bad news, or uh, you know, especially in the crypto world, you know, the, the big a big loss in in the normal. In the normal market, traditional market, it's it's like you know twenty percent. Or if you t if you trade penny stocks, it can be a little bit more. But but in crypto, that's when the brutal things happen. You can absolutely just get wrecked in crypto with the big losses. You know, it can be liquidation on Binance because you trade on one hundred twenty five x, and um, it can be rug pulls and everything that I said. But now now this one big loss, it can you know manifest a lot of emotions into you, and. Um, that's what I don't like. I've seen a lot of people go in, uh, take a position on a trade without, you know, any, uh, any strategy, anything. You just they just take a position because you heard on Twitter of some guy that is bullish on their coin, and then they went in without any uh, prior uh, research or anything like that, and uh, they and that's the people that get wrecked most. So uh, I have a couple uh, points here. Um, about trading psychology that I've want I want to talk about. So, first of all, is uh, just try to eliminate eliminate this big loss option. And how to do it is 
kind of hard you know i'm not gonna say there's not like a a a step-by-step guide how to eliminate big losses but you can minimize that right Uh, obviously sometimes you will have a big loss under your belt and uh, what's important is how a trader reacts to the big losses than the actual big loss itself because that big loss will teach you something right and if you choose to and if you choose to listen to and listen and check uh, with your brain of what went wrong and why did this happen and if you allow yourself to uh, come into that state it can really teach you something good so you can turn this big loss into something educational you can turn it into something that you learn something of right you have something educational because every big loss has a story behind it and if you're willing to open yourself up instead of brushing it to the side you can actually learn something from this right so it'll try to eliminate the big loss option and then you can live very very comfortably with the other three uh, options with a big win a uh, small win or a small loss i'll live with it right so uh, um another thing i want to talk about is uh, uh stop st- uh, like setting stop losses right um this is kind of hard to do if you trade on a decentralized exchange like Binance, uh, I mean, uh, these things like, like a Uniswap or Sushi Swap or anything like that. Uh, but you can you, it can be done on a centralized exchange like Binance and etc. Bybit, you can set stop losses. But the whole thing is to actually have a game plan before you go into a trade. The setting stop loss means that you have decided that to eliminate this big loss option by setting an assurance for yourself to not. I lose a big amount like okay if it comes down to it you know yes you've lost money but you're actually cutting it uh, uh cutting your loss here and you have a bit you have a game plan and always following the game plan is important all the moon boys will tell you to never sell and to have diamond hands because it will go up but the reality is that they don't know anything you don't know anything nobody knows shit all right nobody knows shit so you set an insurance plan for yourself. If you're trading on a decentralized exchange, you tell yourself at this price, I will, I will get out, right? Uh, this is where I cut my losses in this trade, right? This is where I cut my losses and this is where I walk away and I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be uh, sad. I'm not going to cry if it goes up in value again, because this is my game plan, right? I'll stick to it and do not like i repeat if you step if if you set a step loss that's the stop loss that's step number one right you go in with a game plan and i have seen so many people like i'm not even joking i've seen so many people just widen that step loss that stop loss oh yeah, yeah no 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 uh it's almost at the stop loss range okay let me just widen it down they take it down even more and that is what th- then you just ruin your whole game plan okay i think it's gonna go up more so i'm gonna widen my stop loss that's the worst you can do. Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. All right, guys. To summarize for you, I found a way that you can ver- minimize literally everything that we've been talking about. All the emotions that run rampant on your tr- when you trade. All the big losses. All the big wrecks. All the this and that. All the negative psychological effects. And that's just two simple words. Risk management. I mean, no. Correction. Proper risk management. Now, risk management can be a lot of things, you know, it, 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 you have to have a lot of things right to have proper risk management. But I want to focus on the psychological effects it has on your brain when you have proper risk management. It can be, you know, going with a game plan and that game plan can be, you know, set a stop loss, set an entry point, you know, uh, don't trade with uh, a lot of capital, only the capital you afford, you can afford to lose in every single trade and etc. and etc. Don't get too overexposed and so on and so forth. But when you hit that, when you hit that sweet spot, when you get confident that you have good risk management, when you know that after this trade, no matter how it goes, it's not going to affect my portfolio, it's not going to affect my mood, you are confident, right? You won't have any emotions running rampant. And that is what so many traders, especially in this one bull run, so many traders and investors have this flaw. They don't have proper risk management. It can be a guy that gets his 1400 stimulus package, right? $1,400 in his bank and then puts literally all of it in one altcoin 
because he heard someone on YouTube, he heard someone on uh, 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 Twitter, or he saw something on Telegram that said this coin will go to the moon. And then he will literally put 100% of his capital in that without an entry point, without even thinking of when it's good to enter, without thinking about how much it already pumped, and I'm not thinking about when he should sell, no nothing, no game plan, he will go in. And that is when emotion hits, right? That stimulus package, he is, a tr he is now emotionally connected to that one trade because if he loses it if everything goes down if the coin rug pulls or anything happens he has no insurance at all he will lose his whole stimulus check and that is why you can see these traders getting absolutely wrecked you can see these traders uh, on telegram on on the twitter and that is when the bad bad decisions comes when you when you let your emotions take over when you let your uh, uh, emotions running rampant and there's all just because of proper with improper risk management so guys have a game plan right get good risk management you know be comfortable in that trade you're taking you know just don't Ever, you know, even if you're convinced that this one coin will make it, this one trade will take you to the moon, and this one trade will get you financial freedom, still don't go all in. Never go all in. Never go above what you're comfortable with losing. And if you're not comfortable losing anything, then don't invest. Don't do it. Just use that money and only invest when you have enough money in your bank account, in your daily life and you so on and so forth just invest then invest when you're comfortable investing invest when you're comfortable losing the money that you put into the market because that's always a possibility that you will lose everything it's always that one possibility right and you should be it, you should be you should, you should be you, you know you should know about this before you go into any trade any market everything has risk if there is any potential upside there is also risk involved and the bigger the upside the bigger the risk and unfortunately, if you end up, you know, losing a big size of a portfolio, uh, you know, but the most important thing and the most hardest thing to do for any trader out there. And I know if some experienced traders or experienced investors, you know, are listening to this, you know, the hardest thing to do in this market is take a break right after a big loss, especially after a big loss is to take a break right that is the best you can do you know take a break if you lost a big size of portfolio just step back for a second hang on step back what am i doing wrong right what just happened and if you already assessed it just take a break you know wait for better conditions you know i know it is hard especially on a loss as i said it is hard but take a break it always always yields better results in the future if you take a break assess the situation put your brain on something else watch a tv show you know hang out with your hang out with your family friends girlfriend anything anything without you know anything but the market all right just take a break take a break it's good i've done that before i have a story about this actually uh if i'm if i by the time to uh, tell you guys it's already been 13 minutes uh on this but in 2017, uh, I, I did, I did, I did lose a big part of my portfolio. Before that, when I used to trade with low amounts, right? That's just this like thousands of dollars, like two, two, three thousand dollars. That like, people like it's nothing right now. But for me back then, it was a lot of money, right? I had proper risk management, but I kept losing, right? I kept hitting my stop losses over and over and over again, and. At one point, I was down like 50% of my portfolio, and I was like, come on, man, come on. I've, I've I tried everything, right? And literally, I watched videos, I read books, and so forth. I, mean, I just kept losing trades. So what I did was, just, okay, let's take a break. And what if, if I take a break, maybe I'll think differently. Maybe I will get a new perspective on this market, on these charts. Staring at a chart can be so fucking frustrating, and you'll lose everything every sense of other life you have outside of this one bedroom or outside this one desk that you have like it will it will narrow your perspective to just charts you know so i was hanging out with friends i went to uh i went outside for walks and i went for uh, i went for they like, watch movies with uh, with uh, with my friends and i just you know i just i just st stayed away from the computer and you would be surprised of how much more value that adds to your trading you know if you're away from your computer you will develop new perspective you will you will develop new strategies just on the go 
just when I take a walk, I'll develop a new strategy, right? I, that's something that I would never think of by just staring at charts all day, right? I know that it's hard to take a break. I know that every second you're not on your computer, you feel like you're missing something, right? Shit, I missed a 10x. This could be the makeup trade. Shit, I did this. I was away. This happened, right? I know the FOMO is real. <laughs> I know. Because I feel it right now. You know, I haven't been, you know, hanging out with my friends has not been my priority this year. I mean, 2020 or 2021, because obviously coronavirus. But, you know, it's really, really, really important to just take a step back and assess everything and you know do something else in trading you know life is not all about making money but you have to enjoy it as well right on that note guys it's been a long last 15 minutes god damn well on this note i want to end this video uh, it's not really a video video it's not a really structured video i just want to like talk it's a discussion video and if you've been you know sitting back and you know paid attention and if this adds any value to you i am very grateful thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do that hit the like button and if you want me to make this to a podcast about just talking about crypto stuff let me know what guests you yeah i want you want me to bring i'll bring any guests i'll talk about anything crypto related and on that note guys i am out